Hello everyone, welcome to Game Trade Media. My name is Leona and I am one of the video editors here and today we are going to be playing through Villainous Despicable Plots by Ravensburger. I actually have the, uh, the box right here, let me show it off. So this is the newest um, expansion standalone for the Villainous game. Um, we're really excited to play it. So who, uh, today, not just me playing, I also have Mia and Natasha with me. So Mia, or also known as Anna Mia, is a international cosplayer and a gamer and a comic lover. And then I also have Natasha, AKA Canada Ox, here with us, who also hosts In The Edge and some other things on preview, Talking Toys as well over at Preview World. So thank you guys for joining me. I'm super excited to have you all here. Thanks for having us. This yeah. is awesome. Yes, so and I know you guys are Disney lovers as well. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. So let's get into it and enjoy uh, what Luminous has for us. That's my Gaston impression. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this expandable standalone for Villainous uh, has three new characters. The Horned King, Lady Tremaine, and Gaston. So today I will be playing the Horned King, which is from the Black Cauldron, a great classic Disney movie. So cool. uh, Mia will be playing Lady Tremaine uh, from Cinderella. And then Natasha will be playing Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. And I would also like to shout out uh, Natasha's look <laughs> today, inspired the rest of <laughs> I guess. Uh, and <laughs> even color matched my hair tie to his gloves and fingers. <laughs> we love it. We love it. I'll, I will reflect the Horn King in my, uh, you know, secret cauldron off to the side that you can't see. <laughs> Sadly, I don't have butt hair. Or... <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did notice that she she has an interesting hairstyle. The <laughs> mini perplex style. Very classic. It's very classic hair. <laughs> <laughs> So with this game, uh, I just want to kind of run through just a quick overview of the rules, um, but nothing too in-depth. So the way that the game will go is each of us has our own objective to win the game. The Horn King has to have a cauldron born in each location. Lady Tremaine needs to marry Drizelle or Anastasia to the prince. And Gaston has to remove all eight of these obstacles uh, to win the game. So it's kind of interesting. We're all playing for different objectives throughout the game. How our turn will go is we each have uh, four cards from our deck and then we will move our pawn or character to one of the four locations. And you might notice that there are little icons on each of the locations and these are action symbols. So these action symbols have allow us to do different things like gain power, play a card, vanquish, discard cards. And so whenever we land on location, we fulfill those and maybe pay power for different cards. And then um, it's as long as we, after we're done doing that, we draw up to four cards and then that's the end of our turn. So we keep playing until one of us has accomplished one of these objectives uh, or our, I should say our character objective. So are you guys ready? Ready. Yeah. Cool. I will uh, start us off. So I need to draw up four of my cards. Here they are. And then I will move my <laughs> little pawn to a location. So I, the Horn King has Morva, the Fairfolk Kingdom, Dungeons, and the Throne Room. Um, and I think I will just start with Morva. So that allows me to play a card and if I would like to play a card I can because I don't have any power I don't want to play any of my cards so I'll skip that I get to grab some fate which uh, allows me to interact with other players so I think I will interact with Mr. Gaston here sorry dear Gaston <laughs> I can place be your guest or Mrs. Potts and Chip. So be a guest. I find a hero in the fate discard pile and play it to any location. Uh, that doesn't really help me because you don't have a discard pile. And <laughs> when this is played, you may, I can move all your heroes or fate items to new locations. Uh, they're still kind of stinky. And because Mrs. Potts has one like 
health, I'll play her. So I'll put her on the Beast's Castle. So now, Natasha, if she wants to play at this location, she would only get have those two actions to uh -huh. play. Until she removes the hero. And I also get to discard some cards from my deck if I want to. And I might do that. I think I'll discard one. And then I also get one power, which is nice because then I can start buying cards. <laughs> I'll draw back up to four and that is my turn. So go ahead, uh, Mia. All right, so I've got my four cards. Cool. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move to Cinderella's room because that looks like the most advantage to me here. Okay. Um, I don't really have a card to play. Okay. Um, so the next would be move an item or ally. I don't have any of those yet. <laughs> uh, discard cards. Hmm. Do I have to discard a card or can I keep them if I like them all? You can keep them, yeah. Okay. This is such a boring turn. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a three power though because that's gonna be very useful for me. Yes. So. Cool, there's power. my turn. Nice, all right. The pressure's on. Um, <laughs> let's see, I'm just gonna go right into Belle's house too. Like start right at the beginning, I guess. Cool. Um, let's see, I got my little symbols here. I can play a card. I have the Vanquish, the one, one point for power, yep. and then the discard cards. Well, I kind of pulled a good option here um some of these cards don't even cost me anything <laughs> no um oh, okay hey okay i'm gonna use this one this one is uh zero power points and it says take me instead okay it says reveal your cards from your fate deck until you find a hero then play that hero to beast castle remove one obstacle sweet so that seems like a really good play there so, um, does that mean, so I'll get to move it yeah. over to Beast, so that, oh, that. that goes on Beast Castle, right? The hero, oh, the hero, the hero go on Beast Castle, right? So I guess you just pull a card until you find a hero. <laughs> drum roll, drum roll. Hero, okay. Hero. And then that plays on Beast Castle and I get to remove one of the little beast tokens, right? Yes. That means. Great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I get a power for playing in Belle's house. Right? Yes. Great. Okay. And, and then, then I discard that beauty and then grab another card. Sweet. And that's my turn. Did I do it? Did I do it? Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> no one games like Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> apologize. Apologize in advance. That's going to randomly happen. <laughs> okay. okay. So my turn, I am going to uh, go to the Fair Folk. Right. Does that let me play a card? Actually, I think I can play two cards. Fair Folk Kingdom, I get to play a card, which I'm going to play Show Me the Cauldron, where I either get to claim the Black Cauldron or gain three power. In this case, I'm going to, um, first, I do have to spend my money. Let's make sure I bank correctly. <laughs> uh, I get to claim the Black Cauldron, which is great because for me, I need this to start bringing up my army of the undead. Oh boy. <laughs> so that's nope. important. No uh, pressure. So yeah, no <laughs> he goes over here, um, and then uh, the rest of the actions on my on this card are three power, which is really nice since I spent my power. I can actually play another card here, uh, which do do do. Oh wow, I got really lucky. I'm going to play our hour has arrived which allows me to flip the Black Cauldron to the power of the Black Cauldron, which is really great because that allows me to uh, actually bring my undead army back to life. <laughs> 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 and then lastly, I can vanquish, but I don't have any heroes, so that doesn't actually uh, mean anything. Um, 
So from there, I will, oh, and since this is an effect, actually both of these are effects, these just go directly into my discard pile, sorry. I was doing that wrong. And then uh, it is now Mia's turn. All right. So to start off with, I got to move, right? Yes. Uh, we're going to go to... And just so you know, Mia, you your ballroom is locked. There's a way for you yeah. to... Yeah. Gotcha, because I'm about to do that. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I'm moving to the castle. Sweet. All right. I got. I also got lucky on my my pull, and I got the invitation from the king card. Ooh. Okay. And it says, when invitation from the king is played, unlock the ballroom. Dun, dun, dun. Bye, lock. If the prince is not in play, find and play him to the ballroom. So oh. the prince is in my fate deck, I believe. Yes. So I find him and put him in the ballroom. I'll just go ahead and, I don't know, I was, first I was gonna flip and then I was like, I don't think that's true. <laughs> so, Monsieur Prince, he gets played here now. Mm -hmm. All right, so I have the invitation and the prince on there. Okay, cool. So then my next action, is you can discard cards if you'd like oh yeah no i i like my cards <laughs> <laughs> and then fate um oh no yes so that okay. can either be gaston or the horn king my guess is you probably want to play on me because yeah because you're getting lucky over there so horn king let's do <laughs> two right. of your fate <laughs> so we have dolly and Terran. When Dolly is played, you may move each hero in the Horn King's realm to any other location, or you gain one strength for every other hero at Taran's location. Hmm. And Taran is two, and it looks like Dolly is one. Let's do Taran. Okay. And which location would you like to play? Let's that? put him on. There's throne the room. third there's one. Room. Okay, cool. And you do get one power. Yep. So you're Miss Moneybags right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, did the... And then I have to... Yeah, I forgot the... Um, this item cost you three, right? Yeah. Cool. So those three go away. I'm not as rich in power as I thought. <laughs> <laughs> but the prince has arrived at your ball, so... <laughs> yes, that's, that's a big step. <laughs> All right. Do I pick up another card now or at the beginning of my next turn? You can pick it up now. Yep. So draw okay. back up to four. Okay. My turn? All right. Yes. Okay. So I think I missed it last time that you play all the little tokens on here. But um, so I'm going to move. I think I want to move. Let's see. Into the woods. Okay. I move into the woods. Um, and then, so that's a two. Do I, what order do I do this in? Should I you take two now? You can do order. Okay, so I'm gonna take my two tokens, or yep. my power power coins now. And yep. then, um, how many moves was that, Mia? That was a lot of moves you made. Was one, two, was that four moves? Mm -hmm. Four? Yeah. Cause then I wanna play beautiful as me. Which is during their turn, if another player takes four or more actions, you may play beautiful as me. You may remove one obstacle token. <laughs> oh, so this is actually. So how does that play? How to? This is a condition card. So okay. this would be during Mia or my turn. If we played four or more actions, uh -huh. you would be able to play this and remove an obstacle token. Yeah. So, oh, so you're saying, okay, we can, retro, Mia, game little, yeah. we can retro game a little bit. Yeah, you would have played sorry. this during Mia's turn. Yeah. And oh, I, I would have interrupted her. Correct, turn. yeah. Oh, well, okay. During her turn. Okay. I was play. letting her finish. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> That's how she was being polite. <laughs> I know. I'm a nice Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> and now, but so yes, now you may okay. move, remove one of your obstacles. Okay, I'm going to take... um. One from Beast Castle, since that, that way it just clears the the field for that one. Yes. Um, and so now we can start, like, now you can start your actions. Okay. That doesn't so, help for your play a card. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so I've got a fate on here. So that means I have to pull one of my fate cards. 
uh, you would actually choose either or from you guys, or right? Lady Tremaine. Okay, I'm gonna go with Lady Tremaine. Sorry, Mia. Okay. I knew it was coming. <laughs> there's Gus. Gus and there's Bruno. Gus, while Gus is in play, all item cards cost two power, so that would be for her, it would increase the price. Mm -hmm. And then when Bruno is played or moved, or move Lucifer, move Lucifer to his location. So Lucifer is an ally. Yeah. Okay, okay, wait, I'm playing a condition card. I interrupt. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Um, so it's called Vicious Practical Jokes. And it says, during their turn, if another player targets you with a fate action, you may play Vicious Practical Jokes. Of the two <laughs> fate cards chosen, you pick which card is played and where. Oh, okay. Well, then you decide. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm still going to get hit, but at least yeah. I get to decide my fate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fun. Go. Nice. That's awesome. All right. So I had Lucifer and what? <laughs> no, you had Bruno and Gus. Oh, Bruno and Gus. Let's go with, oh, I don't like everything costing me stuff. So let's go with Bruno. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and now where would you like Bruno? Oh, man. Um... Let's throw him on the castle. Okay. Sounds good. All right, and then that goes in my discard pile. Cool. Cool, and then I have... A okay, so I already played a card, so does that count as the play a card? On my little woods? Oh, you're beautiful as me? Yeah. No, so that was... No, that's an interrupter, right? Correct, so you okay. still have that play a card action. Oh, okay. We got your yeah. two money, we got the fake card, you are allowed to discard some cards, and now you can also play a card. Okay. Okay, I'm going to play this one. Intimidating. It's going to cost me one power, and it says, reveal cards from the top of your villain deck until you reveal an ally. Place that ally in your hand, discard the rest. And that costs you one power. One power. Okay, so I place that... So I discard this one because I'm using it, right? Yep. Since it's an effect, it would discard. And then, and then I just pull. Do I just tell you what ally I get, or are you gonna pull it? Ah, uh, yes. You can tell me which one. Okay, I got the mob. The mob. <laughs> nice. Joyful group of people. <laughs> um, and then it says it had said to place that ally in your hand, discard the rest. So what does that mean? I discard the rest of my cards. And then redraw? Yes. Okay. So just get rid of these ones and then just draw three more. And then I think I'm done. That's it, right? Yep. Awesome. I believe so. Moving right along. Now I'm going to read the cards before you guys play, so I know if I have to interrupt <laughs> you or not. <laughs> I have some good allies. I also have... First, I need to move. Oh, and I have my dear hero. <laughs> my dear hero... Oh, that's annoying. I'm going to... <laughs> These cards are funny. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go to the throne room, which allows me to vanquish... No. First, I need to play a card. Okay. Okay. An item or an ally, just to um, let you guys know, can be played at any location in your realm. Okay. This is helpful because of what I want to do <laughs> next. <laughs> I am going to play my Gwythaint. When performing a vanquish action, Gwythaints may be used to defeat a hero at their location or at an adjacent location. So I'm going to play that card here. Spend two money to do so. I then am going to vanquish, use my vanquish action, which allows me to um, use my monster slash ally. <laughs> to get rid of my dear hero. So he now goes away. And because I'm using him, he's equal in power. So he also gets discarded. I now can move a card. And then I also can discard some cards. Huh. I am actually not going to discard. So I'm just going to pull back up to four. Ah, uh, yes, this hasn't come into effect yet. But because I have the power of the cauldron, I can start building up my evil dead army. <laughs> And now it is answer answer you. <laughs> All right. So I'm picking up a card to get back up to four. Okay. And then it says I play a card. 
So I think I'm going to oh, do well, this loose. You'll move, you'll move to. Oh, wait, room. I moved. So I was going to do the Cinderella's room. Sorry. Okay, no problem. And then play a card. Do so you want to buy? Do you want to get your money first? Oh, can I get my money first? Or yep. Oh, okay. So you can, you now have five money. So if you had a more expensive card, you could. Gotcha. Okay. So I do have this Lucifer card, which would play with that uh, Bruno card on the castle. Okay. So Lucifer plays a trapped token on a hero in Lucifer's location. But so can I effectively, so I put the trap token on there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but since Lucifer has um, a three and Bruno has a three, does that take Bruno out? Or is that only Vanquish? Yeah, so because we have the little Vanquish action, we're allowed to remove our heroes, but you are able to stop there because you gotcha. are now Lucifer. He's now trapped. So gotcha. that means that um, I'm going to put him under. That means that his action, his uh, ability is no longer in play. Gotcha. All right. Cool. So That's how that. Lady Tremaine can get rid of. Uh, <laughs> get rid of people? She yeah. likes to lock people up. It's, I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> She's just like, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Trap you in your room. All right. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, I'm not going to move anything uh i'm going to discard one of my cards because i really don't need a trap card and then i've already picked up my power so i'm just going to pick up two more and i'm done all right so i have a question so i have mrs potts and chip on the top and then i have beast at the bottom right and it says when beast is played or moved, move allies out of beast's location to any other location. When beast is vanquished, remove all obstacles from the beast castle. I already have all the obstacles out of the beast castle, though. So how does that work? Um, so if there were some of the heroes allow us to put back um, these power token, uh, mm -hmm. these little tokens. Yeah. Um, in, like in his case right now, he doesn't actually have that much of an ability because uh -huh. you've already removed the little tokens. Uh -huh. um, but so, yeah, you don't have to worry about that at the moment. Okay, so how can I, um, do I have to get rid of him then? I mean, <laughs> you don't, you do not have to, the, the you don't even have to go back to there, right? Of them is then you will get four actions at this location. Uh -huh. And right now you only have two. Um, okay. What you could do is add another hero to uh -huh. this uh, location and then remove, and then use the, the vanquish action to remove Mrs. Potts and Chip. A hero or ally? Oh, sorry. I meant an ally. Yeah. We're not used to playing the villains. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sorry. I put this I put this guy on the wrong um on the wrong side. I apologize. Okay. So he is a hero for some mm -hmm. reason. It's confusing me that these are the bad guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, do too. so sometimes I don't play. So actually the beast and Mrs. Pops and Chip are both um at this location uh -huh. right now. Okay. Um so yes, you would if you would like to vanquish the beast, you can uh -huh. do so. It's a six. And, but because of the tokens are already there, mm -hmm. not there, that would just be skipped. We just wouldn't do that at the, this location. So, okay. Okay. Well, um, let's go ahead. I'm going to move to the tavern. Okay. I'll take my two power. And then, um, let's see. I do have, I do have a vanquish on here. I have a play a card. And then um, the activate one. Yeah. And what was the act? I have to have an activate card, or what's how do I act? What's the activate one again? Uh, the activate is if there was an ally here that had that. Symbol, oh, I see. Um, that's how that uh, ally's effect would be, or ability would be played. Oh, okay, and it's only in the location I'm at. Oh, but I'm sorry. It can, be, it can be in any location. Okay. It would just be that you would need to, ha yeah, you would have to be in this So location. if I have an ally and I want to get rid of the beast and miss pots, like I'd want to put an ally over there and that would okay. be my chance to activate it, right? Yeah. 
Then I'm gonna do that. I've got the mob. It's gonna cost me two power. And I'm gonna put it over at the beast castle. Okay. Okay. Is that allowed? Yeah. <laughs> Just so you know, the mob has no additional ability. Yeah. Okay, cool. But it, he, they are four, so that's good. Yeah. And they cost two. They cost two. So, does that mean they take damage? Or... Right now, they're just they're just at the beast's castle. Uh -huh. Um, and you would, if you wanted to get rid of the beast, you would need like... another ally that would okay, to total beast. right. Okay, correct. Okay, so I could hang on to this four point to take out the beast instead of just like overshooting Mrs. Potts and Chip to take it out because that's only one point. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I would recommend. So I'm gonna stockpile. Okay. <laughs> um and then does that that counts as my play a card? I'm guessing? Yes. Okay. And then um and that also I would assume counts towards my vanquish. Or, active, this, or round, what is that? this round you won't vanquish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I guess that's my turn then. On my turn, before I move, I can play pay to power, power to replace any ancient soldier in play with a cauldron. So I need to get some ancient soldiers. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I have no <laughs> money. I have no money. I have no so money. I'll go to the Fair Folk Kingdom, which is kind of an ironic name. <laughs> me and my necromancy ways. I will then pick up three money. From there, I will pay three money <laughs> <laughs> immediately. And I will use one of my um, build a card action and I will build an ancient soldier so I can start changing them <laughs> into Your army. born. <laughs> <You know? laughs> cool stuff like that. Um, <laughs> I can actually play another card, mm -mm -mm, which I think I will play a, a guard dog, which allows me to have plus one strength if at any location with another ally, which right now isn't too helpful, but might become helpful when other people put fate cards on me. Yeah. Uh, then I can vanquish, which I don't need to do. And so then I draw back up to four and that is my turn. I guess it's my turn. I'm going to move to the castle. Okay. So I'm going to play a card. Okay. Um, so I'm going to play I Never Go Back on My Word, which is shuffle your fate discard pile back into your fate deck. Look at the top four fate cards and replace them in any order. Which actually you don't have. Oh, and I have to pay two. Sorry, I got to pay two of my powers to do that. Sorry. Okay. You do get some power though. You only had one uh, fate card in the gift card. So fairy godmother, Jacques, Gus, and sweet nightingale. Okay, so fairy godmother, when fairy godmother is played, find and play uh, ball gown Cinderella. While fairy godmother is in play, only fate cards can move to allies. So she's pretty powerful. You probably want her as yeah. a ball. Jacques yeah. is when Jacques is played, move discard one item from his new location. Uh, Gus, when Gus is in play, all item cards cost two power. And then Sweet Nightingale, move an ally to any location. All right, let's put Fairy Godmother on the very bottom. She needs okay. to go away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then we'll do Gus okay. on top of her and then Sweet Nightingale and Jacques, because I feel okay. like that's pretty harmless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree All right. with that. <laughs> so we'll use that up and then um, my next thing is I can discard, but I like mine, so I'm gonna keep these last three. Fate. Um, yes. Sorry, Natasha. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Fate's on Natasha. Maurice and Belle. Maurice, when Maurice is played, Find and play Maurice's invention to Maurice's location. If Maurice is vanquished, remove all obstacles from Belle's house. And then Belle, no obstacles can be removed while Belle is in play. Ooh, let's do Belle. Yeah, that's a good one. 
And which location? Uh, woods, tavern, Bell's house. Technically, you can play on the Beast Castle, but like there aren't actually any there. <laughs> Let's do the tavern. Okay, cool. I'll hit you where it where it hurts in the bar. <laughs> um, it's my favorite location besides the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I got my one, my one power. So it turns down. Okay, I think, and I think that's all your actions. So make sure you draw back up to four yep. cards, and then it is on to Natasha. All right. Let's see. Let's go to Belle's house. Okay. I'm gonna take my one power. Power. <laughs> um. <laughs> you are a powerful man. <laughs> and then I have Vanquish. Play a card and discard a card. Um, so let's see. On my play a cards, I am going to spend four power. Okay. Bink. To use and five dozen eggs. <laughs> uh, when five dozen eggs is played, attach it to an ally. I'm going to attach it over to the mob over here. And that ally gains two plus strength. So that gives me six to Sweet. be able to vanquish the beast. Yes. So Kill the beast. See you later, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. take them out and then I'll take these two allies out too. Right. And then... No. Doo -doo -doo. And then it's... Okay, play a card, vanquish. Already had taken the one. And then it says I can discard a card, so I can like choose something to get rid of, and then yeah. grab more. Um, uh, yes, from your uh, okay. hand as it is. Okay. So I'm gonna discard one, and then grab two more to fill back up to four. Nice. And that is my turn. That felt really successful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was really good. Ooh, okay, Mr. Horn King, my evil plan. I have no money, so <laughs> I need to go get some monies. I will go to the dungeon and I will grab some two power, which is great for me. Costs a lot to be a villain. Because, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, but not enough money. <laughs> um, this isn't as lovely as I would want. <sighs> Do I get to discard some cards? No, I can move some cards. I can play a card. I already got my two power. And then I have my fate deck. Uh, <laughs> I like that you can kind of bounce around to different, your different little realms and stuff instead of, you can only go this way and then that's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> shuffle my, I have this card that allows me to shuffle my villain discard back into my deck or pay an additional three power to discard Druin and claim them. Not super helpful. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm not. Money. <laughs> I just really need money right now. Uh, I didn't realize that. I'm going to play my fate deck with, uh, from the fate deck, which I will choose uh, Mia's Jacques or Sweet Nightingale. I'm and... going to block you with a condition. <laughs> Ha-ha! <laughs> Which condition <laughs> card is it? It's a, it's another one of the vicious practical jokes. <laughs> it says, <laughs> so I get to choose and pick which one goes where. Nice. nice. Okay. Which would you like? Card. This is very <laughs> powerful. All right. Which, let's see. It was Cinderella and Gus, right? Where? Or Cinderella and Jacques. Jacques is played... Uh, move or discard one item from his new location that would i you would do that or move an ally to any location is sweet nightingale let's do jacques because i have no items so yeah, it doesn't do anything so cinderella's room ha huh? it's a good uh it's a good time right here <laughs> all right thank god for those cards yeah it's very powerful and that is the end of my turn I'm gonna draw back up to four, which I had four cards because I couldn't play any of them. And now it is Mia's turn. All right, so I'm gonna draw back up to four and I'm gonna go to Cinderella's room. Even okay. though I can't really do too much because I got, I got, what's his name on there? Jacques on there. Um, so I'm gonna discard 
two cards. And you get three power. And get three power. And that was a quick turn. All right. All right. Monsieur Gaston. Let's see. I got all these people blocking me, so I'll go to the woods. To the woods. I'll take two power. And then let's see. Um, there's a fate on there, a discard, and I play a card. Yes. So let's see what cards I have to play. Well, that would make me broke if I play that one. Now, if there's a hero on there, does that block you from removing obstacles? Uh, only, so Bell, yes. In Bell, Bell, yes, right? Oh yeah, no, right there. No obstacles. It says it right on the card. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> no one reads like Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> no one tries to break the rules like Gaston. <laughs> Um, you know what? It's gonna come. I have three power. I'm gonna use them all. Okay. To play, I just dropped one of my powers. Whoops. Um, to play, come into the light, which is remove up to two obstacles from a single location, and I am going to take it from the woods. Since oh, that's where I'm wow. at anyway. Oh wow! Oh, really. This is a really nice card. <laughs> pa pa pow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then, so that was my play a card. And then fate means I draw fate on somebody else, right? Correct. Okay. So let's go with uh, the Black Cauldron. Yep. Little zone, you know. It's your horned king. The horned king. We have some fair folk. Ancient soldiers cannot be played to this location. And reunited, search the Horn King's fate discard pile and play a hero from it. Ooh, let's do that one. Reunited. Okay. Yeah. And it's just cute. It's a little pig. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So this is an effect, so he gets discarded. And I think usually, oh, yeah, these are both discard. So, okay. This so you just draw to search. find a hero. Search. I need a hero. Oh, perfect. That's the first one. All right. Princess. Elonwi? <laughs> I forget her name. <laughs> All other heroes in the Horned King's Realm gain plus one strength. Where would you like her to go? More of a Fair Folk Kingdom dungeon? Let's do, or let's do Fair Folk Kingdom. Okay. Cool. There you go. She's and that was in the, the way. Fate. And then I still have the ability to discard one and replace it, right? Yes, Dis yeah, okay. discard, discard as many as you'd like, and then okay. uh, that would be the end. Oh, of it's more than one. I thought it was just one last time. <laughs> well, uh, there's only one I want to discard anyway. All right, and I can grab two more and picked up the same card I just discarded again. Maybe I should remember <laughs> this better. <laughs> it's like the third time. Um, and then that's that is my turn. Cool. I can replace an ancient soldier in play with a cauldron from my hand. What if I don't have any? Oh, okay. I think I need to <laughs> discard some cards here, which makes me go to Morva. Uh, I will gain one. I will discard my cards before I, oh, that doesn't help me because I can't pull back up. Okay. <laughs> But you have money now. I have money now. <laughs> I do with my free money. Yay. I will discard and I will play some good old ancient soldiers because my win condition is if I have cauldron born at every location, it's a good thing. That's where I win the game. So I'm going to play these guys now at the throne room. All right. Nice. Uh, and then I will, honestly, I'm going to discard my whole hand. Um, it's probably a good idea. I don't like any of them. <laughs> and I will then choose a fate deck from the fate deck, which I think I will, I think I'll do Gaston because- I knew it. <laughs> the wood thing and I'm like, oh boy. It's good karma. <laughs> uh, uh, and true, to be fair, you did play on yeah. the magic mirror <laughs> and Maurice's invention. So with the magic mirror, I can find and play the beast shuffle the fate discard pile, including the magic mirror back into the fate deck. Uh, I don't think that counts because the beast has already been played. And Maurice's invention, all allies in the same location as Maurice's invention lose one strength. Ooh, I know what I'm 
should I be a meanie? <laughs> <laughs> Says uh, the porn king. Are we out for blood? <laughs> 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 the necromancing horned king. It's like can I, I be a meanie? If, if I if I play it with Belle, that's a four. Like I don't know if you can see, but that's a four power there. Mm-hmm. Uh, or four health. That would be a lot. Nah, I think I'll just be kind of annoying and <laughs> make you play over here. Ah. Get rid of your um stuff over there. So lose the strength, okay. And I will pull back up to four, and that's the end of my turn. Dun, dun, dun. Lady Dromain. Alrighty. I'm going to move to the castle. To the castle. I am going to spend one power to play a trapped card so I can put a uh, trapped token on Jacques. Okay. So he can stop annoying me. <laughs> That's good. All right, so that does that. Then I'm going to discard a card, because I don't like that one. Uh, Fate. Oh, man, Natasha's already been hit so much. <laughs> Thanks, Let's buddy. Let's Leona. Yeah, you can, you can do mine. Yeah. <laughs> poor, poor Natasha. All right, so we'll do the Fate. Gurgi's happy day. Shuffle all discarded fate cards back into the Horn King's fate deck and then draw two new fate cards. Play them both. Ah. Oh. Or sacrifice or burn <laughs> sacrifice. If the power of the Black Cauldron is face up, flip it over. So that would make me no longer able to change these guys into mm. cauldron hordes. Those are both kind of mean. Yeah. I'll, I'll do the Super less meany. mean one. <laughs> And I'll, I'll just make you flip your ca- cauldron card back over. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Man, that first one was cruel. Yeah. <laughs> play two, it's all good. Shuffle them and then play two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. And like, I have some definitely pretty hard uh, fate cards in here. So now at, what that does is at the start of my turn, I can discard uh, any cauldron born from a location and I have to now power this back up to be able to win. Use it. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. All right. And then I took my one power and I'm picking back up to four. I'm yeah. end of my turn. Let's see. I need to make some money back. So I am going to move. I wonder how this card actually plays. Um, I'm going to move into the Beast Castle. Okay. Take my one whopping power <laughs> coin. Um, and you do get to play a card. And I get to play a card. Let's see. I have two cards I can play because I have enough money. <laughs> um, you know, I think I might actually finally use this one. So this is going to cost me one. Okay. This one's called The Swoon. (laughs) And it's replace one obstacle, then gain either three power or draw three cards. So I think I'm going to uh, replace an obstacle over at Beast Castle, since that's where I'm at anyway. Okay. And then um, then I will draw three cards. Oh, sweet. And then I discard the one I just used, though, right? Yes. Okay. So now I ha- have technically six cards. Awesome. So, yeah, but you get to keep those. You don't have to yeah. discard them all or anything cool. like that. All right. Yeah. And then that's it. Because Mrs. Potts and Chip are blocking the rest of the castle. <laughs> 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 they are annoying. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I know what I need to do. Okay. I'm going to go to the dungeons. Get to power. Immediate, immediately, I will spend the power <laughs> to um, play the Horn King's henchmen. They don't have any ability, but they do have three health points. And so I'm going to build them over here in the Fairfolk Kingdom. So hopefully later on I can vanquish my 
hero that is there. Uh, with, oh yeah, I already did my money, which is a little sad, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, I can move a card, which it doesn't really help me to move one at this moment. And then I get to do the fate deck. So let's see. I'm trying to figure out like who is ahead. It's a little hard. I think I'll do Lady Tremaine. Man, I can't block you this time. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Gus is in play, an item costs plus two power. And when the Fairy Godmother is played, I can find and play Ball Gown Cinderella. And while the Fairy Godmother is in play, only fake cards can move allies. Wow, that's really powerful. I'll do this one. They cost you two. Any item that you want to buy now is going to cost you plus two power. And I guess he'll go to the music room. Oh, sorry. How many moves? Uh, it was just, yeah. yeah I, I was just uh, completing the fate, the fate on my dungeon. So and then, how many total was that? that the fourth one? Oh, four. There were four there. Because beautiful is me. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, I feel like you might be playing me. <laughs> <Penis> <laughs> fools me. <laughs> All right, so during their turn, if another player takes four or more actions, may play beautiful as me. And I may remove one obstacle token. Goodbye, token I just put on the castle. Okay, that's what I thought, yeah. <laughs> but honestly, it's a good, it's a good move. Because now you have a lot of cards. <laughs> yeah. And I was sitting at the other times, I'm like, that's one. That's two. Ah, <laughs> like, oh, she stopped. <laughs> All right, cool. thanks. And that is the end. I'm going to draw back up to four, which is just one card. And that's the end of my turn. Oh, man. All right. I am going to, I guess, go to Cinderella's room. I'm going to use two power to play I never go back on my word which is shuffle your fate discard pile back into your fate deck look at the top four fate cards and replace them in any order okay you have th these were the two that were um will be shuffled back in oh god that fairy godmother one needs to go <laughs> away <sighs> and then don't forget you actually get three Powers. Yeah, I get three powers. Okay, so then we get to look at four of them. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yep. You have Ball Gown Cinderella, oh, God. Sweet Nightingale, <laughs> Bippity Boppity Boo. Remove the trap token from any hero, then uh, that hero to a new location and a oh, second. Oh, these all suck. So, <laughs> oh God. Um, I guess then, let's. Ballgown Cinderella is discard Cinderella to play Ballgown Cinderella. And while the Ballgown Cinderella is in play, no al allies may enter the ballroom. So this card cannot be trapped. What a diva. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, that one's hard because technically, I guess Cinderella has to be in play in order to play the Ballgown Cinderella, but that's just scary. Because what if it is? Um, <laughs> okay, okay, let's put Ballgown Cinderella on the bottom. Okay. Um, then we'll do the two bibbity boppities okay. and the sweet nightingale on the top. Yeah. That does All right. make sense. Cool. All right. And then I'm going to discard a card. Okay. I got my three tokens. So yes. done. Was that four moves? It was. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful as me. <laughs> nice. Wow. Cleaning up. <laughs> So uh, clearly I can't take anything from the tavern because that's where Belle's hanging out and blocking me. Yeah. So I'm going to take one from Belle's house. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mr. Gaston. Mm -hmm. He's so obnoxious. <laughs> He's making his way. I think I might need to do something about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to um, take him. I'm going to put him in the woods. Okay. So I can gain two power. Yeah. And then I've got uh, a fate, I've got a play a card, and a discard a card, a discard. Um, so let's go, let's see, I only have two tokens, so that really limits my fun. 
I'm just going to tell you because I don't yeah. know how it works otherwise. it's um It costs one power and it's called Bell is Mine. It says perform a vanquish action. Oh, that would mean that without, so like right now you uh -huh. don't have a vanquish on here, mm -hmm. would, but you would, if, when you play this, you would mm -hmm. be able to vanquish a uh, hero. Okay, but I would need like the corresponding ally to correct at it, right? Okay, okay. Yeah. So, so never mind. Uh, right. So at this moment, you don't want to play that because you don't actually yeah have, card, have anybody. But, but that's a good one to to have around. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. So I have to play a card. You do not have to. No. Okay. Because so I don't really. You know what, I'll just, I will. I will just play this one. Cost me one power and it's for wolves to ally. Okay. And it's wolves gain plus one strength for every other wolves card in play. Um, this one I'm gonna take and put over at Belle's house since Maurice's invention costs four. Yes. So I'm gonna put him over there so that I can hopefully add up to take out that. Um, and then it has a fate card. Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, sorry, Mia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sweet nightingale. You can move an ally um, to any location or you can remove a trapped token from any hero and then move that hero to a new location. Oh, okay. So let's see what we have on the board. I see and right Jacques. now Gus and Jacques are trapped. Jacques and Bruno. Sorry. Trapped, thank right? you. Yeah. Bruno and uh, Jacques are trapped. Yeah. Um, and what's their... Yeah. What's their fate error? Uh, yeah. Please. Bruno yeah. lets... Uh, when Bruno is played or moved, you move Lucifer to his location. Okay. And then Jacques, when Jacques is played or moved, discard one item from his new location. And right now... Um, the item that Mia has in play is from the invitation. the invitation from the king. Okay, so let's move him and remove the invitation. Right? It's unlock him and then it says you can move a hero to a new spot. Yep. And then that would make it in play. Yep. Yep, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then remove that. Uh, yeah. Wow, that's powerful. That was a good play. Uh, and then it says I have discard ability, but I'm going to keep what I have and just draw my one so I complete my four. Cool. And that's it. I'm all, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am going to. Do I get money? No. <laughs> I'm going to go to Morva, get one measly money to then spend it immediately and we play money. Uh, Captured, Poor Kids, and Their Grandfather. It's a delightful photo. I know. <laughs> I do get to draw three cards, which is really helpful for me. One, two, one, two, three. Okie dokie. Okay, so when I have the activation um, icon, that's when I can flip. But right now, I believe my activation icon is... Uh, uh, ho, ho, ho. I see what I need to do. My ancient soldiers give me a activation icon, so I need to go there to eventually flip this cauldron to have the power. The power of the cauldron. <laughs> I should have gone here, Ooh, but I really wanted that money. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, everything else I can't actually play. I can't play a card. I can discard some cards. And then I play a fate deck. I think I'm just gonna keep my hand right now. And then maybe next turn actually go to a vanquish. That would be smart. <laughs> um, I'm going to play, I, can't, I don't know, should I do Gaston or Lady Tremaine for my fate? 
Gaston, Lumiere. Ah. When Lumiere is played, I can move a hero to a new location and be our guest. I can find a hero in the fate discard pile and play them to any location. Ooh, if... Um, I think I'll just do... Go with the first one. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll do Lumiere and um, I'm gonna be really annoying and I'm gonna add Lumiere to the tavern. So now Belle and Lumiere are there. So that's five. And I'm also going to move Mrs. Potts and put them here too. So now that's six. What says Your bar is so full. When, <laughs> when Lemire is played, you may move a hero to a new location. Yes. So I'm going so to that move. That counts as just placing him? Oh. In addition, in addition to when I get to move, like play him at a location, I can move other heroes as well. Bar is closed because my <laughs> yes, <laughs> my, hope, my hope is to have some. You need a bar fight now. <laughs> <laughs> Take out a lady, a teapot, and a candlestick. And a <laughs> Can you do it? <laughs> and that's the end of my turn. And I have All right. four, or actually I have way more than that, but it's Lady Tremaine now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, All I have right, no so more beautiful move to as the me. Castle. <laughs> um, I'm gonna spend two to play, I said if, um, which is shuffle your villain discard pile back into your deck and draw two cards. So here's my discard, here's this. Ah. Give it a good shuffle here. Let's see. I am going to get rid of a card. So there's my discard. Um, I am going to fate someone. Oh. Man, everyone's kind of getting hit right now. So I guess it really doesn't matter, does it? Um, <laughs> oh, it matters. It matters. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, I think the hard thing. You can, you can give the hard thing. Gurgi, when Gurgi is, in, is defeated in a vanquish action, shuffle him back into the Horn King's fate deck. And he's one power, he has one health. And then the Witches of Morva, when the Witches of Morva are played, the Horn King must immediately either lose two power or discard two cards from his hand. And there are three. Ooh. We'll go with the nicer one. Oh, okay. <laughs> the one on the left. We'll, we'll, we'll be a little nicer. Okay. Where would you like him um, to go? Throne room, dungeons, uh, what's this location called? Fair folk. Let's do dungeons. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh. And then I get one power and that's the end of my turn. All right, so here's what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to move into beast castle. I'm gonna grab my one power token. Then I'm gonna spend my one power token <laughs> to use time to follow me. Nice which is perform a move item or ally action. I'm gonna take my wolves and I'm gonna put them in the tavern since that's clearly where the fight needs to happen. And then uh, I have an additional play a card on my little castle. Yep. Um, which I can't even use, wait. Yeah, I can't even use it cause it's the vanquish one and I can't vanquish anybody yet. So just kidding. Um, but I do have a fate card. Yes. And um, since Cauldron was hit last time, I'm going to go with Lady Tremaine. <laughs> Madame Tremaine, bippity boppity boo, and ball gown Cinderella. That one. This one? Yep. Okay. Discard Cinderella to play ball gown Cinderella. While ball gown Cinderella is in play, no allies may enter the ballroom. This card cannot be trapped. When okay, Ballgown so. Cinderella is defeated, both glass slippers, and you play them. I'm pretty sure... You just put it on the ballroom and block goes, it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. She's blocking me from the prince, man. <laughs> <laughs> and Jacques is blocking you, too. So right now you have... Uh, you would have to have three on your ally cards to beat them. I'm being frock-bop. Blocked. <laughs> <laughs> Brock blocked. 
Um, and then that is the end of my round. I will draw to get my four, that's and that's amazing. it. <laughs> All right. So now that it is the Horn King's turn, I actually thought about my turn. <laughs> so good. I'm going to go to the throne room. This allows me to, um, since I have a ancient um, henchman, an ancient soldier here, I can activate the power of the Black Cauldron, which is great because now Huzzah. I can start building. I can vanquish, which is what I wanted to do last time, and I was silly. <laughs> and, didn't do it. and now I can get rid of um, my dear princess. I am sorry. Say goodbye, bye to you. Bye bye. Also, my henchman. <laughs> uh, so that was my vanquish action. I did my activation action. I can now play a card, which is exciting for me because I get <laughs> to build Cauldron Born. Yay, Cauldron zero dollars. Yes. <laughs> um, so zero dollars for me and i do not discard this if it's used in a vanquish action which cool. is really cool because it's six power oh, so, nice. or six health i should say and i play that on top of my um i play that on top of my cauldron form or my ancient oh actually no i can play it i can play it over here on my dungeon which is that that's what i'm going to do there you go because Later on, I can change him. Uh, I'm gonna. I could discard some cards. I could also move some cards. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my guard dog, which gives me, which has one power and gives me some strength. I'm gonna move him over to the dungeon. Nice. To then hopefully uh, get rid of that hero later on. And with that, that is the end of my turn. Finally, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow, I did it, guys. <laughs> there right, so Adam, much. Tremaine, where would you like to be? All right, so I'm going to go to Cinderella's room. Okay. And I have been waiting on this card for so long. The You Little Thief card. <laughs> thief. <laughs> Defeat Cinderella or Ball Gown Cinderella. Get oh. out of here, Ball Gown Cinderella. Wow. What? Zero. For zero. I've been holding that card since the beginning. That's wow. amazing. Nice job. Buy. Yeah. Wow. Goodbye. All right. I'm going to leave my allies where they are. Um, I'm going to keep the rest of my cards and I'm just going to collect my power. Your three power. Wow. And uh, nice. pick my one. There we go. That was, yeah. That's you. Got rid Ooh, of the ball been... gown lady and I got a whole bunch of coins too. <laughs> That's why I couldn't discard more than like two uh -huh. cards at a time. So yeah. I got to hold on to this one just in case. <laughs> That's fair. Nice job. All right, oh, so I am going to move back to the woods because I need the monies. Yeah. So two power coins. And on here I have a um, play a card. I'm yeah. going to spend one and add another wolf to my wolf pile over here in the tavern. Okay. Because that's what's going to go down. So that one adds, you know, another strength, plus one strength for every other wolves play. So that means I have how many now? So now you would have. Th uh... Would that be four technically? Because he has one, one power or one health or whatever, and then plus one, right? So would that be four? Yeah, we'll say that's four. I think that I am reading that correctly. Right. So that'd that be four. Now they're, they're each two. Now that there's two in play, uh -huh. you get two strength for each of them. Okay. And then I already used my one play a card, so I can't play another card, right? Correct. Okay. Um, but I do have a fate. Yes. And I'm going to go back to Mia. Sorry, oh, man. Oh, it. Poor Mia. Sweet Nightingale. Move an ally to any location or Cinderella. While Cinderella is in play, all effect cards cost plus two power, and Cinderella may not be played if the ball gown Cinderella is in play. Okay. No, well, she's I took out that. No longer in play, so uh, let's go ahead and use Cinderella. Okay. Cinderella, Cinderella. Um, and then do I choose where she goes? What did she do again? She costs more? 
Yes, she makes effect cards cost plus two power, and that, and then with Gus, item cards cost plus two power. So mm-hmm. Nia um, has to pay. All are expensive. <laughs> but you Cinderella. Know, she, can, she can go anywhere. Okay. And there's um, the ballroom, the castle, the music room, and Cinderella's room. And currently there is Jacques on the ballroom and uh-huh. Gus is in the music room. Mm-hmm. But none of those are uh, effects, right? Like those are all heroes? Correct. Yeah. Right. So later mm-hmm. on, effects are immediately uh, discarded. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. So let's just throw her. What's the one in the middle there? Oh, the music room or the castle? Let's do the castle. Okay, cool. Oh, man. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. And then oh, it says I can discard. Yes. Um, but I want to keep these, so I'm just going to draw one more to complete my four, and then that is my turn. Okay. Back to me. Finally. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the Fair Folk Kingdom. Get three power. Yay. I will vanquish. And I will take him. When Gurgi is defeated, you then push action, shuffle him back into the Horn King's Fate deck. So I will do that. That's just me remembering because he needs to <laughs> go away now. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was Vanquish. I got my three money. I can, and then I can play two cards, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play a Cauldronborn over in Morva. Nice. This is exciting. And just so you know, my win condition is have Cauldron Born in each location. And right now I have two right? Born in two locations. Yep. Nice job. Um, so I'm going to do that. I mean, and then, boo. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and then lastly, I am going to play Creeper, which when I use him in a Vanquish action, I don't have to discard him. Oh, and then I can instead move him to a different location. So for this guy, I'm going to put him in the... I'm going to add him to the throne room. Mm-hmm. Like a true creeper. Yeah. <laughs> Does it really go away? He's just like, <laughs> I pull back up to four, and that is my turn. Oh, well, I guess I'm going to move to the music room. And I only have two actions I can take. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to pay... Double, because this card is two, it costs two power, but because of Gus, it's going to cost four. So I'm going to go ahead and play this uh, Lady Tremaine's Cane, which removes a glass slipper. I'm going to go ahead and put that on the ballroom, just in case one of y'all tries to hit me with a glass slipper (laughs) later. We're just going to preemptively put that down. What do you mean? (laughs) And... uh, Oh no! Cinderella makes all my effect cards cost double, so I can't afford to play this <laughs> other one. Um, so I guess I'm done. <laughs> I'll just pick up my one card. Womp womp. Womp womp. <laughs> I giggle now, but I know your turn's coming back around again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my turn. I am going to move back to beast castle because that's the only one that i have like full range of play yeah these other ones you only have two blocked um take my one power and then um hmm, no i don't want to use that one so i've got two chances to play cards on here and then a fate um i'm going to play the uh cost of one uh bell is mine and perform a vanquish action um, on... I'm going to go ahead and take out Mrs. Potts, Chip, and Lumiere with my wolves. With my wolves. And then I take them away now, right? Like all the... the, Including the wolves. Okay. Let's get rid of those. And Belle is still there being a jerk. Um... (laughs) She's blocking me from my my, my she, ale. She is the princess of the story. Yes. 
<laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, and then now I have a fate to play. I'm going to go with the Black Cauldron this time. Okay, no problem. Fleur de Flamme. <laughs> When Fleur de Flamme is played, move <laughs> allies to his location. So, uh, and then I believe in you. The Horn King must discard his hand, then draw three cards from his villain deck. Oh, wow. Just so you know, right now I have just four cards, but uh-huh. still, that's... Let's go with that one. Okay, cool. So that's an effect. like the, the nicer of the two. <laughs> I like how we're all being nice to each yeah. other on a game about villains. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely hard. Uh, so yeah, I discard these guys, and then I pull three. Wah. Which kind of does make sense, because then my next round, I only, I'm playing with limited hand. Yeah, and then I'm going to draw my extra card to complete four, and that is my turn. Okie dokie. Okay. Oh, man, I'm not enough money. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking the bank. I feel like this is a reoccurrence for you, Leona. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to the dungeon because it's my favorite place. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I will grab too many, and I get to move some cards, or I get to play a card. I don't really need to move any at the moment. Um, I will play another Cauldron Born though. Um. And I will play him at the Fair Folk Kingdom. Oh, so you've got you're one one away. Oh yes. my gosh! So all now right. I have Cauldron Born at all f- at three locations at this point. How did the, she sneak up on us? The broker broke or not? It was the oh, I don't have money. Look over here. When really she's smuggling in soldiers. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> from, from, I'm like, wow. yeah. <laughs> like oh me. no. <laughs> Uh, so from there I will yeah so that was my build that was my play a card action so I'm not going to do any more of that I already have my two money I now get to do my fate <sighs> Gaston I think it's maybe I don't know or Jacques alright I'll just do Gaston and I can massage my feet replace two <laughs> obstacles which is kind of funny it is you replace one obstacle in each location ooh, 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 ooh. i'm gonna do it is you yeah so that <laughs> place one token in each location son of a biscuit <laughs> <laughs> and then that's it that's my turn Oh, I pulled back up to four. Now it is Mia's turn. All right. So I am going to pay double. So two power. Oh, wait, sorry. I'm going to Cinderella's room. (laughs) Yeah, going to Cinderella's room. So I'm going to play a card. I'm going to pay two power to play a trapped, to place a trapped token on a hero. So I'm going to trap Cinderella because she's annoying and costs me way too much. (laughs) <laughs> so she is now trapped by okay all right so i did that i can move an ally i think i'm good for now discard okay i'm gonna discard one card and get my three power and then pick up two cards to get back up to four dun, dun, dun. cool Oh my gosh, I cannot get the card I need. <laughs> this is no good for Gaston. <laughs> um, let's go. Okay, I'm going to go into the woods. So that gives me more range of play. Yeah. Two more tokens. Um, uh, let's see. I only have one card option. Right? One card option to play. Yes, you can play one card. Haha! I know what I'm going to (laughs) do. I'm going to use three of my power coins to use Hunter's Instinct, which allows me to defeat a hero with a strength of three or less. So I'm going to take out Belle. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, that's really good. Nicely done. Pow, pow. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Bell, get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, and then uh, it also says I have a fate card yes. to play. I so, assume the Horned King? Yeah, yep, you <laughs> assumed correctly. You can play Reunited, which you search the Horn King's fate discard pile and play a hero from it. Or when you can add Gurky and then he'll be shuffled back in. Uh, let's go with Reunited. Let's yeah. get some heroes up on that board. That makes sense. All right, so the heroes... Gosh, I have a big... A big <laughs> So um, do you do you want me to just pull the hero that has like the highest Yeah, go for it. One because I think that might be the witches of Morva, but I will make sure. Yeah, the ones that have the highest so witches of Morva, when the witches of Morva Morva are played, I have to immediately lose two power or discard two cards from my hand, or I if you play this one, which is the second highest, gain two strength for every hero at Taran's location. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with the witches then. Okay, cool. Yeah, that honestly is a good one. So you could play that anywhere. Um, more, more of a fair folk dungeon. Uh, whichever one has one of your cauldron born, right? Doesn't that block it a little bit? Um. Oh no. It it doesn't necessarily mm. block it the only one that i don't have cauldron born on is that is in oh. the throne room would you like to do yeah let's yeah. Throne room. that that makes sense okay, okay so i'm going to and then and then i just gonna draw draw one more and that's it i have the ability to discard but i'm okay with the ones i have i don't know what i want to do okay so i have to either discard two cards or okay i'm gonna discard two cards and not lose two power keep my power 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 okay uh so that was gaston's turn so now it is my turn and before my turn i can actually pay two power to place an ancient soldier which i do have here sorry bum 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 from my hand, and I can turn. No, but I don't have a cauldron born in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's why I was silent for a second. <laughs> trying to read what it said. Dang it. Okay, so well, close. Maybe I won't do that. Um, first, I need to move. <sighs> Dang it. <laughs> I'm really excited there. Three money. Free money for me. And now, do I get to vanquish? Yes. Okay, this is perfect. I'm gonna, I do get to play a card. So I'm gonna play my little dragon. And uh, when I use it for a vanquishing action, I can defeat a hero at any location. Not that that really matters, because I'm going to build him here. And then I will use my Vanquish action to get rid of the, the witches along with my creeper. My creeper stays there. This guy goes away. She goes away. Cool. And then that's the end of my turn. I will draw back up to four. All right. Nice turn. Thank you. It's good. Okay. So it's nice I'm when gonna... you feel accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> My cauldron born. I'm working. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move to the castle. Okay. I'm not gonna play a card, but I'm gonna discard three cards. Okay. Yeah. And oh, but I can't pick up any yet, right? Or do I pick up now, right? You pick uh, them up, but so you can't you play them. Yeah, I can't play them. Yeah, you yeah. just discard them now. You won't pick up until the end of your turn. Okay, so fate. Let's go, Leona. I'm sorry. Yeah. No problem. No problem. <laughs> I believe in you. The Horn King must discard his hand and then draw three cards from his villain deck or Darwin. When Darwin is played, attach it to a hero. When performing a vanquish action, at least 
uh, against this hero, there must be two allies used, but I don't actually have... Oh uh, yeah, you don't have any heroes. So we'll just do that first one. Okay. I believe in you. So I have to discard my hand, which is very unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to say, no! <laughs> and then I will draw three cards. That was a good, a good time. <laughs> okay. So what happens when we run out of cards? Do we just shuffle them and put them back? Yes. So now okay. that like I've made it through my um, yeah. character's deck, I will mm -hmm. reshuffle these. And do you have any more actions, Mia? I did give nope, you one power. Done. Oh, okay. Cool. So my turn. Mr. Right, Gaston. See. <laughs> Doesn't have a lot of options here. Do you want some eggs? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's see. All right, I'm going to go back to Beast Castle. Oh, no, wait. The tavern's open now. I'm going to go to the tavern. The tavern? The tavern. <laughs> so I can long. take two uh, power coins there. Two power. Power. And I've got... What's the activate do again? Activate allows you, you have a, an ally, I believe, that has an activation. So if you build that card, you would immediately be able to activate it. Oh, I see. Oh, if I used an ally card. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so like, for example, my cauldron required me to be in a location that had this activation uh -huh. symbol. Oh, to I see. Flip it. So it's a similar thing where uh -huh. you're... There are some cards in your deck that have abilities. They they probably would be somewhere oh. around here. Um, oh, okay. Yep, and I don't you, know would, that. you would need to be here to make them be come into effect. Womp womp. Um, I don't have that. Let's see. I've got a play a card and then a vanquish, which. Ugh. I need to get some allies, man. <laughs> I wasn't such a nice person. I might have more friends over here. Uh, the fool. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm gonna play this one. This one costs zero. Okay. Uh, it says take take me instead. Uh, reveals cards from your fate. Reveal cards from your fate deck until you find a hero. Then play that hero to Beast Castle. Remove one obstacle. Okay. So, oh. so get caught up on the obstacles again a little bit. And I go ahead and just take the one from the beast castle. So that's where the hero is going anyway. Okay. So uh, you, I, I have to reshuffle your fate deck, but luckily okay. the last card in there was Cogsworth, which is okay. a hero. So um, all other heroes in this location gain plus one strength. And so he just goes to beast castle, right? But then yep. you're also removing yep. the token, which is... Good stuff, because now Beast cool. Castle is clear. Yep. So then I just... Okay. And then I tra drew my fourth card, and that's it for me. Okay. What to do? <laughs> <laughs> All my things. <laughs> if only I didn't have to discard my hand last round. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little sad. We're not going to lie. Um... <laughs> Okie dokie. I think I'm gonna have to do. Okay, this gives me more money, which in the long run I'm sure will be helpful. I'm going to play a card and I'm just going to go ahead and play my, hor my Horn King's henchmen, add him, add them to my throne room since that's the last location that doesn't have a cauldron born. And so that was play a card. I got my money. I could move some guys or, and then lastly, my fate. Fate, fate, fate. Lady Tremaine, I'm going to pick you. Oops. So I have the glass slipper. The uh -huh. glass slipper is not attached to a hero, but must be, and must be played to the castle. Lady Tremaine cannot win the game while the glass slipper is in her realm. Oh. Two? 
<laughs> oh, son of a... <laughs> the glass they look a little different, glass. though. Okay, so there. she does have two feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. I really thought I shuffled these cards. <laughs> they say two different things, though. They're two images, right? Or they uh, say the same thing? This does not attach to hero. Oh, no, if they're the same thing. Oh. So, uh, oh man! Because right. I know, I know, I have two Lumieres, but they're different readouts, so that's funny. Yeah, they are the, the these are the same. So she will <laughs> will play the glass slipper. Oh man! Or the prince for now, since he's useless. You, yeah, since you can't, <laughs> you can't be there. But that All means right. that means Mia, because you have Lady Tremaine's cane. Mm hmm. If you go to an activation symbol, which you do have in the ballroom, you would be yeah. able to remove that uh -huh. because you have that ability for, with that item. I'm just wondering if I should do it now or later. And that's the end of my turn, so it is now your turn. Okay. You know, I'm just gonna sit on the glass slipper, fine. I'm okay with that. Ouch. I'm gonna move to Cinderella's you... room. Okay. <laughs> For now. And I'm going to play um, the card Wedding Bells. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in the ballroom. And Wedding Bells is basically the card I have to activate to win. But I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the ballroom for now so it's there. Oh, it's yeah. My okay. And so it's out of my hand. Cool. Um, and then I'm not going to move anything. I'm going to discard two cards oh and that cost four yep it, so actually it costs six because uh gus is still in... oh it does but do you i do, have enough you have I six did. yeah that's what i thought one two three four five six so like you you do have enough money <laughs> <laughs> to yes, i thought okay. that, so Woo, lots of money but now you do have two money all right okay and then I discarded two cards and then okay. grab my three money. Did you want to move this ally to the music room so that you could? No, not yet. Okay. I'm going to wait. Okay. No problem. I have some plans. <laughs> Evil scheme. <laughs> All right, next. All right. Now it's Gaston's turn. Mm -hmm. Gaston is moving to the woods, going to gain two power, going to use all of the powers that I have, which are five, okay. to play this card. Pow! It is get out! <laughs> and it's remove three obstacles. Oh, wow. Whoa. That's amazing. Pow! <laughs> and then um, them to be removed from oh i moved him from bell's house and the tavern okay so just there should there's just one tavern left and one wood left okay cool um and then i have a fa i can't play any more cards so those are open um and then i have a fate okay which um it's really tricky because you both are pretty close here so it's like, you know, what do I choose? <laughs> uh, I might go with the black cauldron. Okay. No problem. <laughs> I just have to shuffle real quick. All right. So we have these two cards, Dolly and Henwen. While Henwen is in play, the Horde King cannot play effect cards. When Henwen is vanquished, the Horde King claims the black cauldron. And Dolly. When Dolly is played, you may move each hero in the Horn King's realm to any other location. Yeah. What was Dolly again? Sorry. When Dolly is played, you can move each hero in my realm to another location. Oh, right now I don't have any. So let's go with Henwen. Okay. And, and then let's we're... go on the throne room. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna or draw actually, my actually you might not want to do that because I have three guys. Oh right that's here. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you might uh, actually want to play him somewhere. Let's else. go to the fairy folk. Fairy folk. Okay. Kingdom. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I got confused because like technically there's six here, but like I don't want to get rid of him. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I drew my fourth card, and that is the end of my play. Okay. Curses. <laughs> <laughs> Where are my cauldron born? <laughs> Where are you? Hiding. They're all hiding. They're all hiding. Okay. I'm going to... I was in the dungeon, so I'm going to go to Morva, so I get one... Some of these cards, I'm gonna play, because I get to play one card. I'm gonna play Show Me the Black Cauldron. I can either gain the Black Cauldron, but I already have that, and mm -hmm. or gain three power. So I'm gaining three power. So Hooray! That means, so that I'm very uh... money, money, money. <laughs> I mean, boo. <laughs> I get to discard my cards. So I'm just gonna discard all my cards. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I guess also get to have fate. So I'm going to do some fate on my dear friend Gaston. Oh, oh, oh. In my life, I can replace all obstacles in a single location or beast. Oh. When the beast is played, I can move any allies out of the beast's location to any other location. When the beast is vanquished, remove all obstacles from the beast's castle. <gasps> oh, that's hard. I'm trying to figure out what's worse. I'm going to do a uh, replace saving my life. effect. So I'm going to replace the uh, little tokens on Belle's house. And Man. that's the end of my turn. Oh, that was sad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, <All sorry>. right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whatever. Don't have <laughs> <laughs> my evil plan. All right. So I'm going to move to the castle. Okay. I'm going to pay one power to play trapped to put a trapped token on Gus because he's annoying me with costing me money. Yeah, actually, bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye, Gus. Bye. Um, I'm then going to discard a card. Okay. And then, uh, let's see, who's closer? Uh, <laughs> All right, Horned King. I'm going to do a fade against the Horned King. Sorry, Leona. No problem. <laughs> Gergi sacrifice. If the power oh, of the Black Cauldron is face up, flip it over. And then when Lewinder Flum is played, <laughs> with all allies to his location. Flip it over. Yeah, I was going to say, that's really yeah. good. That's really good. All right. Now I can't do it. Because <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, my turn. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's move to the tavern. Okay. Gain two. And then let's see. I have a vanquish, which I can't do. Um, play an action card, which I finally got. A thing that has that little symbol on it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and spend two. Okay. And put LeFou uh, on Belle's house because when performing a vanquish action in LeFou's location, all allies return to your hand instead of the discard pile. Oh, wow. Nice. So that can come in handy in that spot. Yeah. Um, and then that's it because I can't vanquish anybody else and I can't use my action card. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah. think, right? Because it still costs. Yep. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm broke. So never mind. <laughs> um, and I'll take my fourth card, and that's my turn. I cannot play effect cards. Huh? Oh, that's <laughs> not good. No bueno. Because I really wanted to play an effect card. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool, my turn. So I have to move and I can't do my little special. Well, anyway, I'm gonna move <laughs> over here. <laughs> I'm gonna move over here. Uh, because I moved to the throne room, there is an ancient soldier at this location. So I do get to power back up. Nice. Which is nice. Um, I don't wanna get rid of my cauldron born, but man, I would like to get rid of and when. 
Oh, I see. You oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move because I do have this move action and I'm going to move my, my horned henchman over here. There you go. And so I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to vanquish. <laughs> bye bye, Henwin. Oh, bye. on your, I'm going to throw out a condition here. <gasps> oh. <laughs> no, it's not bad for you though. It says during if another or during their turn, if another player takes a vanquish action, you may play locked up. You may place a trapped token on any hero in your realm. So I'm gonna oh, trap yeah. Jacques nice. while you do that. So oh, perfect, Ooh. nice. I'm kind of mad I played the beautiful as me so off so soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's locked up now. And then let's see, uh, have I played a card yet? No, but now I can play effect cards. Sweet. <laughs> I'm gonna spend one and draw three cards. And two, three, and then I get to discard, which Okay, I'm going to discard, honestly, oh, most of these. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get some, trying to get some colder more in here, people. That's the end of my turn, so I'll draw back up to four. And now it is Lady Tremaine's turn. All Ooh. right. So I'm going to move to Cinderella's room. I'm going to spend one power to okay. play Anastasia. So I'm putting my first daughter down on the board. <laughs> so she's going down on the board. She's in play. She's making her way. I'm going to leave her there. Well, oh, no. Okay. Hmm. It's Cinderella's room. Let me see. No, actually, I'm going to move her into the ballroom. Yeah. So now she's all the way in the ballroom. I am going to discard this card. But I do kind of want to read this because this card is crazy. It's called Midnight and it says defeat all heroes in your realm, but find and play both glass slippers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. That's so horrible. So we're just going to get rid of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Grab my I guess three if you power. have like a lot of heroes. Mm hmm. And then I grab my three power and I'm done. Nice. All right. My turn. We're going to move Gaston to the woods. To the woods. So I can have some money. Um, going to play a card, Fate, or discard. So let's go ahead and keep it simple. I'll spend my two power again to play my card of Temper, where I get to remove an obstacle. So there's that one. And then, um, Wait, did you remove it from the woods? Um, yes. Oh, okay. And then, um, so now I just, I have three on the board. Nice. Yep. Um, and then and now it's a fate. Yep. Mia. No. <laughs> <laughs> fairy Godmother. When Fairy Godmother is played, find and play Ballgown Cinderella. While Fairy Godmother is in play, only fake cards can move allies. Or Bippity Boppity Boo removed a, a trapped token from any hero, then move that hero to a new location. It's a tricky one. Because, like, there's good devious plans with both of those. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go with Bippity Boppity Boo. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna unlock Gus and we're gonna move Gus to the ballroom. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Gus. And then it says I can discard. Yes. And so I'm going to discard two. I have one left anyway, and so I'm picking up three, and that is my turn. Okay. Back to the sorry drawing board <laughs> <laughs> of my black cauldron drawing board i'm gonna move i still can't do this cool special thing that i really want to do which is <laughs> rise cauldron born from the dead so what am i gonna do i'm gonna get some more money you know fund my little side projects i really just need cauldron time so 
because of my money, I don't have anything to vanquish and I'm not gonna play a card. Oh, but I didn't, oh, that was dumb. Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was really dumb. I should not have played there. Womp, okay. Well, to make myself feel better, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to play this little, my little ally friend. He's just going to go over here and just in case someone plays some fate against me. So that is that. Your turn. Here. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to move to the music room. Okay. Um, I guess I will do a fate on... Oh, I feel bad for doing it on you, Leona, because you just... <laughs> I mean, it's okay. <laughs> you just switched I to the wrong spot. Definitely... Um, we'll do Natasha. Think... Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Super Natasha duper. Mirror, find and play Beast. Shuffle the Fate discard pile, including Magic Mirror, back into the Fate deck. When you... Uh, sorry, Lumiere. When Lumiere is played, you may move a hero to a new location. Let's do the Magic Mirror. Okay. So we get to find and play Beast, which is here. Sorry. Shuffle the discard, including Magic Mirror, back into the Fate deck. All right. So. So he automatically goes on the castle, doesn't he, or something? Yes, he does. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Oh, and Cogsworth is already there with plus one strength. Yeah. <laughs> well, luckily... He can just kind of live there because you already have removed the, like, Thingies. your ultimate goal is just to remove these two, or three, I should say, obstacles. Uh -huh. All right. Oh, that's true. So my next... <laughs> <laughs> my next, I'm going to pay two to switch Anastasia to ball gown Anastasia. Boom. So now she's in her ball gown in the ballroom. What? Get close here. And then, uh, I'm gonna hold on to that. So I'm gonna end my turn there. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. You guys, I'm super close. Yeah, all you have to do, just to remind you, Natasha is, uh -huh. Mia just has to activate whether uh, the prince is either in the ball gown with Anastasia or ball gown Drizella. Oh. Then she will win the game. Oh, oh and it says the ball gown and no glass slippers are in play. Activate this card to win the game. But so we do actually have a glass slippers in play. Uh -huh. Is there but a she glass also has, play? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. But she also oh, has crap. the cane. She that does can break have it. The cane. Yes. So she'd have to break the glass slipper first before she could actually activate the wedding belts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you are very close, Mia. <laughs> <laughs> and now oh boy. it's on. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> I don't have a lot of room here. Uh, let's move to the tavern. Okay. So I can gain two. I have an activation card that costs one. Okay. Right? Um, to, and it's Monsieur de blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Monsieur, oh yes, dog. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. And then can I can remove, remove an, obstacle. an obstacle. So I'll take one from the tavern. Sweet. There's that. That's good. Um, and then I, and then that acts as my activation card, not my play card, right? Yes. Okay. So then I will use my other point. <laughs> power oh, point. no, sorry. Oh, no. This, this was you. So you did pay to build it, but you are able to activate it right on this turn. Um, oh. Right away. Oh, okay. And oh, I see. So the, that costs two. And the way that this little colon works is you could either activate it with the free activation, uh -huh, which or is what I did. Pay two power. Oh, okay. So it doesn't cost me anything then? Or it still just cost me one? Oh, yes. It will still cost you one. Okay. Yep. So I still have one left then. Right? I'm confused. Oh, sorry. That 
that, that so this building this card counts as your build your play a card oh you are able to activate it oh by pulling the obstacle okay correct okay and so i get now it you have vanquish vanquish left I don't have anybody to make wish. Yeah. I have no power. <laughs> no power. No power here. All right. So I'll just pull my fourth card and that's my turn. Yep. Okay. <sighs> Okie dokie. I forgot to pull this one. I'm going to go to the throne room. And I'm going to discard all my cards. <laughs> and pick up a new hand and that's my turn. All right, there, I'm pulling a condition. So if you do the discard action, I'm gonna discard cards as well. Oh, cool. So I'm gonna discard three and pick up three before my next turn. What what condition card was that? It was... Dun, dun, dun. And one more thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That was good, that was a good impression. <laughs> I like that. Cool. Sweet. So that is the end of my turn. And now Mia, it is your turn. All right. So I am going to move to the ball ballroom. Okay. I am going to pay two to activate Lady Tremaine's cane and get rid of that glass slipper. Only two? Doesn't it cost right. more because Gus Gus? Well, you won't. You actually don't have to pay anything. Oh. Because you get the activation. Um, oh, oh. You get that activation cool. action no matter what. Oh, never mind. Okay, cool. It doesn't cost at uh, the top of the card? Uh, the because the item, yeah, because you already built the item, it's still there. Oh, I see, I see. All right. Uh, so then I'm going to play a card. I'm going to pay two and play trapped which is place a trapped token on a hero in your realm so goodbye gus you're annoying <laughs> um and yeah okay so that was the end of my turn yep make sure you draw back up to four yep oh boy dun, dun, dun. no pressure okay you might be able to do it depending on your cards in your hand. Let's see. Ha! Okay. Gaston is going to move to the woods. Okay. Going to gain two power tokens. I am going to play my card. Okay. Which costs three power tokens. Which is come into the light remove up to two obstacles <gasps> from a single location. <gasps> so goodbye, oh. Bell's house. <gasps> oh my goodness. Did you no just win that? Nice. that? like Gaston. No one plays <laughs> like Gaston. Oh my god. Well done. Woo. Jump. Guys, do you know what I just picked up? I just what? picked up a card. No! <laughs> <laughs> We're all so close. We're like, all about to woo. win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just had to activate the stupid wedding bells. Yeah, I know. Yeah, oh, next round. <laughs> <laughs> you got well, it. I think it would have taken me two rounds because I can't go to the same location. Yeah. So I would have had to go somewhere else and then come back to the ballroom. So it would have taken yeah. me two turns, but. Awesome. Well, that was fun. <laughs> thank you so much. Congratulations, Natasha. Yay, thank yeah. you. Gaston for winning. <laughs> I definitely, this was, this I was like awesome. It. It was a lot of back and forth. There was one yeah. moment where I was like, I'm mm -hmm. never going to win. And then I was like, I'm going to win right now. And <laughs> oh, I, I was so far behind from you guys. I could not pick up one of the daughters in the cards. I was like, you can't get yeah. this daughter. Like, oh. Yeah, your character definitely seems the more complicated It's. I them. think my character yeah. is more based on like exactly what cards you pick up. Like you yeah. have to have specific cards. And I'm just like, uh, yeah. where, where are these cars? Yeah. <laughs> Where are my stupid kids? <laughs> and Damn kids. At, at one point you were discarding a lot. <laughs> and same yeah. thing. At one point I was just like, and discard my whole card. Right, I need, yeah. I need my cauldron. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. 
Awesome. Well, thank Yay. you guys so much for joining this playthrough of Villainous Despicable Plots. This is a game that's published by Ravensburger, and um, this version that we played will be coming to uh, local game stores really soon. So it's basically like all the art at this point has been released and you should be able to find it within like a month or two. So definitely make sure you pre-order and talk to your friendly local game store to get it in the shop. Um, I really enjoyed it. Do you guys have any kind of final comments or things like that? I mean, besides the art is great and it is intricate and you'd really have to like think about what you're doing and kind of play ahead. Like at first I was like, oh, I'll just look at my cards when it's my turn or whatever. But then you really start like kind of planning out and plotting, you know, because you're a villain. So you plot, you don't plan. Yeah. And, um, and I like that it's two to three players. Like, that's really cool, because then mm -hmm. you could, you know, you just play with one of your friends or this or, and I'm sure you could probably, like, do teams. That's one of my favorite things with board games is you can always, like, have groups of people play for per character or whatever. But I definitely, um, this is really cool. This is fun. Yeah. At first, I was, like, looking at the instructions. I'm like, wow, this is so complicated. I'm never going to be able to figure this out and what turns I got to do. But like once you do get it down, it uh -huh. becomes a lot of fun because each character has their own like strategy and ways of winning, and like you start getting to understand the motivations of your villain more. Like, <laughs> I've got to get these daughters married off. Where are they? Like, <laughs> you I cannot like go to the ball if you're not here. <laughs> and that's a, that's a cool thing too. What you said about the different characters, but like, so you could play this three different times and have three different experiences playing with different characters instead of mm -hmm. some other games where you're you're all playing the same game trying yeah. to achieve the same goal you've got different objectives and that's really cool yeah it's like if you start getting really good at playing like gaston and you're like okay yeah. i didn't want a new challenge i'll play as lady tremaine and yeah it's a whole different gameplay i feel like Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like that. And I love, as you said, Mia, how their gameplay, their objective, like ties really well with like the story. So uh -huh. it kind of reminds you <laughs> of the moments in the movie as well. Uh -huh. and at least I felt like um, it built on itself pretty well. As you said, like we, you know, it's not like we're master players here. We, yeah. <laughs> um, uh -huh. This game is really accessible for people who uh, maybe haven't played board games a lot, but really enjoy like stories and, and and Disney characters. This is definitely one to bring to the table. And as you said, Natasha, like you could even team up and have people who are more experienced play with less experience, but because of the like storytelling aspect of the game, mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of fun and is very involved. <laughs> I like yeah. the interaction of the fate deck. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't sure if the fate deck was gonna work as mm -hmm. well, or I just didn't understand really how the play would go, but yeah. I actually really liked that, that like, it's weird to be annoyed at the heroes of the story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know our initial thing is, wait, what? No, no, those are the bad guys. Yeah. Like, Gus, you suck. Yeah. Why are you doing yeah. this to me? <laughs> Come on, friends. Like oh, wait. No. <laughs> Cinderella's the bad one. You're just having Yeah. <laughs> but in that way, it's a really fun sort of twist on the story that we all know. Mm -hmm. so. Awesome. Aww. Well, again, make sure that uh, those of you who are watching that you head to your friendly local game store and ask them about this game, Villainous Despicable Pops by Ravensburger. It is out now and or is available for pre-order. So make sure you get it on your table as fast as you can to share it with your friends. And um, we did actually play remotely, so it is possible. Yeah. And, and it doesn't um, take up a lot of space either. Just note, like that's how big, oops, upside down. That's how big the <laughs> box is. Like it's not, as someone who's a big, board game collector like it's really nice to have a game that you know you can take this with you on road trips or you know whatever so yeah. that's really cool too and i'll make sure to put in links down below on uh some setup of how to play remotely if you're interested because it's definitely doable if you have a uh -huh. camera and stuff like that so yeah. uh, thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you follow game trade media and uh for all of our other playthroughs and different uh mini painting stuff so thank you so much <laughs> and i'll uh, see you all later